So uh, we received a uh, structure, as you can see, the, three, the, the sculpture from Don, uh, our 3D uh, TA. Uh, we're going to make our own for our, our uh, 3D uh, tools vinyl. However, for the DC showcase, we decided to use one of this. And uh, it's, right now we're about to glue it with the, the, the glue. And uh, so how this is going to look is something like a, And then we're gonna uh, project our uh, max patch onto it, our projection mapping onto it. I think we're gonna clean it up a little bit, like scrub it down, maybe put like a clean white, white stuff over it, you know, kind of clear it up. But um, yeah, we're gonna start gluing, I think. How's it look over there? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Dude. All done. <laughs> look how cool this is. <laughs> Alright, now we got a projection. So here's our max pass for uh, rainbow snow projection mapping. So initially we start with our original projection mapping patch that we received and uh, we cut up a movie that we have patched here um, so we it, it picks a random movie from zero to, uh, zero to six and uh, each movie patch goes has is sound reactive so the louder it gets the faster the snowflakes fall going to, G to, to that movie and as you can see uh, these movies are cut into four columns and four rows sent into all of these uh, different sends, which goes to here, receives, and um, these videos are, can be projected mapping onto uh, the example, which you will see right here to the right. Your height kind of helps. So it hits this side and that side and everywhere. So we need to worry about here. So you think we need like two or three here? I think you can do it too. On the better pan, I mean, we have a projector set up. Yay! So here's our first initial testing setup. We have our max patch going on right here. We have made uh, two, we made two screens. So this screen right here is going with the, the awesome duct tape projector we created. And checks it onto the thing, the box, that shape. And as I talk fast, louder, it moves the snow faster. That's pretty cool, huh? Oh, interesting. Here we are working on the max patch, Thomas. So <coughs> we just cut. I just cut it up to. Off. I just cut it up to top left it's now, 1:45 a.m. Top left and top right. And we are working on scissoring the different videos so that we can manipulate them onto our sculpture. Top left, top 
right? How'd that work? Focus and determination. You can see box one or, or uh, color one is all set. This is now color three. And he is just dragging each corner into its respective place. We're trying to make it right. Here we have a laid out map and different coordinates explaining where each piece of the puzzle goes. So we just presented our max patch to, uh, to Napple and mixed reviews. He liked it so much that he uh, put us in the gallery, but he wants us to basically change everything. He didn't like the snowflakes, we're getting rid of those, and we're going to use Mad Mapper to run everything instead of Max so that uh, it'll run a lot smoother and easier for us. But a lot of work ahead of us. Okay, so this is our final Max uh, setup for uh, Mad Mapper. This is the original patch that we had. This is our sound reactive component where uh, if you clap, then it will uh, move to the next sequence. We have uh, eight sequences set up, and uh, it will choose one of these videos to play from each of the different positions. Uh, we have six positions set up right here, uh, and those positions are then uh, displayed on this, and then from here it is uh, siphoned to Mad Mapper. Here we are, preparing our sculpture cube to the power of 3D uh, using ManMapper has officially saved our lives. Here is the actual ManMapper program that we are manipulating onto the surfaces, which is right there. And looks like that. And from that projector. Ryan, will you clap it a couple times? Again. Again? One last time. Anyway, so oh my God. Yes. That's cool. So tell me how you did this Um, we ran all the videos through um, Mac MSP, and uh, yeah, we basically um, we ran through a program called Mad Mapper, and it allows you to like pick out different pieces of videos and then. Uh, Change the surfaces to uh, whatever. So it's a uh, we, we we got this 3D structure. Uh, we built out a cube, so it's a cube and stuff, and we have Mad Mapper. So it's like a program we're using, uh, and it allows us to uh, just pick out certain points of videos that we found. So just another sharp noise with that trigger. Yes. Yeah. It yeah it just it's just. So it has to be, but yeah. clapping surprisingly makes a really loud noise really, really briefly. Uh -huh. So it works really well with this. We started out at the box, and then you can like work with it and change it. And all of a sudden, you can change it. Yeah, yeah. So it's just very important that neither of those moves end up there. You think so? Yeah. Um, we, haven't, we haven't thought about it. I mean, we would love it. This would be cool. We would love it to be. That would be cool. The kids would go nuts over this. That's cool. I like that. It's running off a different screen. Video displays the continuity of that. We reflect it onto 3D surfaces instead of like a 2D surface.
here is our final Rhino uh, setup of our uh, 3D sculpture for our projection mapping. Uh, as you can see up here is the, the top view, uh, perspective view, front, and then a uh, view from the right. So, um, so our augmented stage, as you can see, I'll go right to perspective mode. As you can see, um, it, it has a lot of curves. We decided to move away from uh, cubes and try to work with a lot more circular, more, uh, more, a lot more angles and more, more uh, wave-like feel. If you can see as it, as you go from left to right. Also, uh, we wanted to make sure that like every angle you look at it. Every angle we look at the sculpture, the stage per se, if it is set up in real life, the person from the left will see this perspective as he walks around it, it will see completely different. It's, it's go from left to right or right to left. It will be a complete different perspective in each angle. That's what I really wanted to focus on.